Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Celestial Farm Girl here. We're going to do a reading on Leo. Yeah, Leo Moon. Hey, what do you think of that? Um, I decided when I do the astrological signs, I'm going to do it when the moon's in there. So, the moon's in Leo. We all love Leo. This is about self-expression, right? And we all want to learn and tap into those those emotions and expressions so that we can, you know, live, enjoy, uh, be a part of everything, move and feel and um, just, you know, be happy to be alive, right? And Leo is bright, shiny with the sun. And so <clears throat> for those of you who have a Leo sun and Leo is your birthright, that is wonderful. And so today though, we're going to do what is a Leo moon, and the moon is in Leo, and that's that's what we're doing. Okay, so first we're going to play with the dice. Hello, everyone. Welcome in. Thanks for all your shares, your subscribes, your likes. Thank you for being a part of my life in this channel and getting the messages out. And, you know, I've been thinking, it always feels funny whenever I say I'm going to go do a show. What I'm really doing is a message. And I'm going to try to stick to that and speak in that way because it's not a show. It is a message. I don't dress up. I don't do anything fancy. Um, I just want to relay to you the love of God and how God shares its love with me, her love, his love, their love with me, and share it with you. How God helped me to be convinced that I was worthy of everything and I didn't really have to change a whole lot on the outside um, I just worked on the inside and even when it comes to leaving the house and going places and stuff I I I this is it you know you see me this is me this is how I am every single day and um, I have a Leo moon. Yeah. Um, I'm a Virgo. And, you know, following it all around, I have a Leo moon. Right there. It's kind of weird to me because, you know, it's like a completion thing. And uh, I, I thought that was pretty awesome. I don't exactly know what it means, but I, I really do want to look it up. And maybe I will after this. So... But it brought it to mind and I remembered. So here we go for the Leo moon. Calling in the energies of the universe. Calling in the energies of the big lion. You know, the lion about courage and stuff with Leo is not so much um, because they want to be show-offs. But they have big hearts and they're brave and they're capable of pulling off feats of magic with you know hardly any effort at all and they look like they don't put no work in leos just shine they can't help it i love leos 10 4 or jupiter i'm sorry we have um taurus oh that doesn't surprise me whatsoever jupiter and 10 okay um, on our moon book today, let me get the moon book. Yes, uh, the moon was in Jupiter at 1, 1, 1 p.m. today. Big expansion, right? Look at my hat. Um, went through Venus at 1.03 a.m. this morning and hit uh, Uranus at 2.20 p.m. So we've got some Jupiter here and a, and this 10, which is X, which is, you know, the end of material gain for, no, 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 the end of, hmm, 10. Let's start with the beginning then. Yeah, 10. So the beginning of expansion in material joy and satisfaction. Yeah. 
Yeah, and that says that too because Uranus or Jupiter is all about expanding and Uranus is about coming up with new and unusual ideas, Leo. And, um, you know, uh, uh, unconventional, breaking boundaries, you know, doing things that nobody has seen done before and making them work. Okay, so I'm, I got my bag here. <laughs> I love you guys. If you're still with me, I just want you to know I love you. Would you please like and um subscribe if you're here i sure would appreciate it and support the channel okay i'm gonna try to grab four all right i got a few more than four bear with me and put that right there i love my little bag okay we have somebody's driving well somebody knows what direction they're going we got a ship wheel here sailing moving through going in the right direction yeah what else we got here clouds dreaming maybe you're dreaming of going for a for a cruise yeah maybe you're dreaming of maybe you have a boat maybe you're getting ready to go out and uh set sail what is this this is fruit a little fish huh oh deep leo you've been diving deep and rising high more a fluffy little pink sheep You're an unusual sheep, obviously, because you're pink. Oh, somebody's been through a rough time. We got a black flower here, which is beautiful, but it represents you've been working through your shadows. Good job. Good job. We really do need to work through our shadows because our shadows are everything. Got a sunflower. Somebody might be a Leo. And a heart. A beautiful white heart full of love compassion purity and innocence well, I don't know where that went and we're just gonna let that one go guys okay well let's use the right um, is this um, light seers deck right oh wait first let's get an animal card Okay, how are our uh, moon and Leos feeling today? Our Leos, how are you feeling? We're all Leos, you know. We're all Virgos. We're all Libras. <clears throat> we all have each and every uh, aspect in ourselves that each and every chart carries. A whole person works with their whole self and works through each and every sign of the chart you know implementing in your best aspects around that time when the moon is shining through so great creator of all these wonderful things the rhythm of the the, the planets and the stars and we have the moon and leo right now how would you speak with us what would you say to us that could help us Raise our vibration, gain knowledge, and move forward. Perseverance. God says, don't let nothing get you down. Keep persevering. Keep persevering. The path may be challenging and obstacles may arise. Do not let setbacks discourage you. Absolutely not. Do not let setbacks discourage you whatever you're doing um look at this look at the power of that horse our spirit within us is got this power and all we have to do is get grounded grounded deep into this planet and you can push through and accomplish anything be the seed 
and put your seed, your energy into Mother Earth and she will help you to grow into a nice, strong spirit, horse, tree. You'll be a shapeshifter, Leo. You'll be every sign in the zodiac, right? And you'll learn and she'll teach you things, secrets. She'll tell you secrets, Leo. Okay, I mean, this is beautiful. I love this horse. We're going to put it right here by the heart. And I kept the heart here because Leo is all about the heart, right? The sun, even though it's solar plexus, but Leo had the courage, bravery, outspokenness comes from a big heart. Yeah. I'm going to take a drink. Guys, got your ginger water. Did you cut your apple up? Got your apple snacking? Yeah, snacking your apples. Eating your walnuts. Right, right. Yeah, it's late in the day. I didn't comb my hair. I done combed it this morning. <laughs> I ain't going nowhere. And I'm just going to be right here, sitting here at home. I love you guys. I hope somebody's told you that today. But if they haven't know that I do and I send love out you know well I connect into the crystal grid continuously every day two times a day at the least and channel love from the ethers which I consider to be the ethics of our universal laws are within the ethers um, the universal laws the pillars of creation are within the ethers and so I pull these ethers down and instill them into the crystal grid every single day. And then, <laughs> three of wands, I wait for the wave, right? I wait, I wait. And this energy God tells me and tells us and tells you is goes out into everything. And so I strongly suggest getting crystals. And, you know, I do not worship crystals, but they're powerful transmuters of energy. And, um, you know, we want to pull our energy up from the crystal grid. It could have to do with the crystals, right? Christos, Christ, Christos, uh, Christ consciousness was known a long time before Jesus came and um, now I don't want to go into all that you know because that isn't what I want to do it's the wrong part of my hair there we go <laughs> anyway um, and so um, we want to watch for the better days that are coming because they are look Waves of change are on their way. Big waves of change for all of us, Leo, for all of us. And we're all ready to break down boundaries that have been made against us. Right, Leo? Breaking through the boundaries we make against ourselves. That we tell ourselves we can't. We tell ourselves, no, we better not. We tell ourselves, no, don't say that. This thing gets me all confused with my hat. I'm, I don't like this hat. I'm not going to wear it anymore. But um, where am I at? Yeah, we, um, we, we need to, well, we want to stand up strong and fearlessly just like this. And watch, watch as the world changes, right? And the reason I know all this is because I send energy out to connect with everybody. And when I'm working through the crystal grid, I also connect to the collective consciousness to channel negative energy to be transmuted through the grid. And the reason I'm saying this is that, you know, well, I want to share it because it's open-ended for everybody. Anybody who wants to you know, and the ethers are all around us. All the stuff that's between you and I are ethers. The energies of creation. 
we can just pull it we want to see it in our imagination right and this is also magical because she's waiting she's waiting for that wave she knows the perfect wave is coming and when it comes she's going to catch it and so it's about vibrations lifting our vibrations up and that's a three two so which goes with the empress energy yeah empress energy fire fire calling up the fire i would say that that's her three lower chakras all fired up too and cleansed and um you know that's the power of magic between the fire that you have in your chakra system and the water in your heart the feelings and emotions that come from your brain and the two meet in the middle and your heart is very important because it is your engine of the body and you need to always love and take care of your heart love your heart love your heart leo leos you all have big hearts what do we got here three okay we're going to take it like that well it looks like you have walked away from something leos you're like no i don't think so right eight of cups walking towards the sun as as the leos do they don't hang out in the dull places very long i'm gonna keep these two cards too so we've got eight of cups here you walked away maybe the wave didn't come in and uh, you began anew with the fool you fell into the deep to the unknown with the x Ah, oh, that's why we got 10 on the dice. You you gave up a life and fell into a new one, Leo. How awesome. And right right into the right into the flower of life. Look at there. The geometric shape of the flower of life that never stops. It just continues and continues and continues on. And you did a free fall right into the universe. The ocean represents the universe to me. Ah, that's, that's beautiful. And we're all Leos right now. Remember, it's in Leo, Leo moon. We're all feeling the same things. And we've all experienced these same things. All of us. We're sisters. We're brothers. There's not a whole lot of difference between us. These readings resonate between hundreds and thousands of people, maybe millions, maybe billions. You know, maybe we're all kind of, you know, doing the same things and don't even really know it. Okay, so what Leo fall into? Oh, no. Well, whatever it was, five of wands which is here to remind me that i started to show at 555 555 so this is uh you climbing up towards the top you dove a deep down into the to, to the to the ocean of life to the geometric shapes to um you know learning a lot of things about yourself spirituality and then you begin to climb towards the sun to reach for the fire yeah no competition no competition you i mean you know you're going to get there you wanted it you got it you got it what'd you get what did leo get what what is leo looking for in this journey of life ten of pentacles happy family happy emotions love peace joy resources the things you need to make a happy family happy family likes to do things they like to have experiences picnics walks do things together you know these days it takes a lot to do that right a lot of money to keep that but um you know the family is very important and so working towards this family leo yeah that's beautiful really ten ten of pinnacles happiness joy 
having everything you need. I actually wanted to take that card. Seven of Pentacles. Look. See the seeds he planted and his chakras on it? See those chakras? Like I told you, you're a tree. You want to plant yourself into the earth like a tree, Leo. And be as... Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, get grounded in the earth. Send your energy right in there to the mother. And then pull back your energy. And uh, you'll bring some of the mother up with you. It's a wonderful thing. Okay, so you're after the Ten of Pentacles, Leo. Or maybe you've already got it. Ah, uh, yeah, you already got it. And the Nine of Pentacles. You're pretty happy with your life, with your job, with everything that's going on. Um, you know, you've had a couple struggles, but nothing that ever took you out. You rose up. Uh, this family is beautiful, lovely. Kids. Pentacles hanging from the trees, baby. Pentacles hanging from the trees. Yeah, you manifest a lot easier, too, when you're connected to the earth because she's the one that grows everything, right? Everything comes out of the earth. Everything. Everything we eat, everything we consume, everything we buy, everything, our houses, the trees, everything. Metals, oils, gases, everything. She provides it all. You know, so, you know, her energy is powerful, powerfully abundant, and she can help. Ah, oh, we doggone, look at there, we got it again. Seven of Pentacles. Cleanse and clear your chakras, your energy. Plant your energy into this earth and light your chakras on fire. Yeah. Pull up Mother Earth's energy. And other cultures, they call it the Kundalini, you know, or rising of the Kundalini. Uh, look it up. It's, you know, I mean, what can I say? All spiritual practices, if they're good, and can be used for the good or can be used for the bad, right? And But we're not going to do that. We use our energy to help the earth and to propel consciousness, to wake people up, to help them understand who they are and why they're here and that, you know, they're more than just somebody that has to go to work 10 to 12 hours a day and pay the bills and 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 seek out instant gratification when you could look inside yourself and find that you're really friggin awesome right check those chakras out look how he's adoring that tree that tree is him he is that tree and when i've been talking about all along about getting rooted in mother earth i'm serious about i'm even hearing other people talk about that now it's really a thing. So do your thing. Do your thing. Root in to Mother Earth. <coughs> Let her help you control that fire that you got, Leo. Oh, look. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> we got the chariot. That's the one we're taking. You're riding the chariot, Leo. And, you know, the moon is, uh, her card is the chariot. So, the moon is in Leo right now. And we got some fire here, water, water, a little bit of earth, earth, some fire here. But this is all about moving, movement, change, openness, and, and, and lifting up in vibration to a higher level. What is that? There we go. It was a charm. There we go. Okay. Let's uh, change up. What does um, Ganesh have to say? Obviously, you've come across a couple obstacles. Made it through. You're in your chariot now. Here, let me get the old elephant out. I love this. To me, this represents Mother Earth. 
but I love Ganesh too. I love the idea of knocking obstacles out of the way, kicking the doors open, slamming the doors shut and locking them the ones we don't want open because we have the power over any door that we open into our life to say yay or nay. And that's one of the things God wants us all to know is we have the power over the spiritual world especially when we're grounded deep in the earth because um, we're plugged in whereas uh, in the spiritual world even evil can't do much unless they find somebody to uh, agree with them and take that in so you know we don't do evil we know the difference between good and evil we know that as long as we walk around with love in our heart, we are in the right place. And listen, love isn't always nice either. Sometimes Leos roar. Rah, right? We roar sometimes. If we see injustice, um, I consider myself a Leo. My moon is in Leo, and I have a lot of fire. Okay? So, uh, and I love it because it, the moon in Leo, that's the sun and the moon, looking at each other right next to each other that's a lot of fire and water coming together and a lot of steam and a lot of energy and you know i i believe i believe in this i follow these things i got healing ganesh says we're all healing right now we're all in the process of healing that is so beautiful and you know we're only seeing the tip of the iceberg look we're only just now seeing the tip of the iceberg as people are changing minds are changing expanding and growing we are learning so much spiritually you know we're just seeing the tip of the iceberg just wait five years from now you know wait five years from now everybody's a god bless you now everybody is really wanting to find a different way i got mountain here strength that's a tough mountain to climb you can't see it because one of the little puppies got a hold of it maybe i'm not sure but we see the mountains right here and all we have to say to ourselves is, I can do it. I can do it. I am going to grow. I am going to be that mighty tree on this planet. And I am going to help change the world for the better. We're all looking for a better. We want a constitution, right? We want the constitution. We want things to be better for all of us. For all of us insight all of a sudden God wants me to tell you don't forget your ancestors built this world and you're entitled to enjoy it how's that how's that that's all I'm gonna say because I, I preach on this subject all the time your ancestors built this world your ancestors built this world you have a right to it you should not have to work 12 hours a day in order to enjoy your life or 10 hours or eight hours it should be four hours a day four days a week with a three-day vacation to spend with your family holy smokes that's only you know ethical it's ethical and everybody should have a home even the drunks and addicts think about it leo think about the place what kind of place it would be if everybody had the opportunity to enjoy life just as it is right here on this planet you wouldn't even need money you know i'm not talking about partying or anything like that i'm talking about having experiences going to africa having a safari enjoying egypt seeing the pyramids everybody should get to enjoy all these historical sites so not only should we work four days a week four hours a day we should get six weeks vacation a year yeah to have this experience in our life which would help us grow and create intelligent children all around the world the school systems would be reformed okay i'm done
That was just an idea. Your ancestors built this world. Your ancestors built this world. Your ancestors built this world. Remember that. You're not trying to take anything, but what is your due, your inheritance, is to enjoy the world that our ancestors built. Now, I don't know why I'm there. Let me see what we're going. Oh, that's right. I was asked to give you guys some insight into why I say that, right? Okay. Yes. God is good. Reminds me all the time. One more card. Want to do one more? Want to do one more? I love you. I love you guys. If you're still here, please like, share, and subscribe. I love you guys. Leave me a comment. Talk to me. Oh, I love Ganesh. Mother Earth. Eve. Mother Earth. Okay. God says that it is late in the evening and it is time to get some relaxation in. With that being said, I'm going to shut this down. You're awesome. You know you're awesome. You know that you deserve your dreams to come true. You know that we want our Constitution back. Remember, when you vote, vote for those who are working on holding up our Constitution, which says we are all created equal, and we all deserve the best without being stressed out. And the Constitution, and we need to stand together in doing it. I don't know why. I'm going to do a political show tomorrow. Okay, I love you guys. Have a wonderful day. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. Bye.